or standard equipment that we take on board a research vessel is a microscope so we can see what kind of uh, microorganisms are present uh, when we're at sea. Uh, we've just taken a small piece of the uh, one of the labs here on board the Seward Johnson and sealed it off with black plastic to make this little dark room so that we're able to see by epifluorescence down the scope. So under blue light excitation, uh, which you can see there, the camera's having a little bit of a hard time focusing. You're actually able to capture uh, chlorophyll containing and phycoerythrin containing organisms. When one looks down the, uh, down the scope itself, oh. there you go, see that little cell there? That's actually a um, crocosphere type organism. If I focus in, you can see it's actually quite large. It's about three to five microns wide. It's orange because of the phycoerythrin in which there is within the cell. And uh, that's actually one of the nitrogen fixing organisms that we're looking at. Under green light excitation, if I go through the lens here, you can actually see that um, cells which are phycoerythrin containing actually fluoresce brightly red under this excitation. Now I'm going to show you another type of slide that we produced, this time for counting viruses and bacteria. Now, viruses and bacteria are roughly 10 to 100 times more abundant than the next most abundant microorganism. And hence, we only filter about 3 mls of seawater through a filter of an appropriate size, stain it so that we can actually visualize bacteria and viruses because both of these don't have any natural pigments of their own. Just like the, uh, the other slides that we do, you mount them on the microscope and then you use a little bit of uh, immersion oil to actually view them through this 100x lens. And so when you look down the lens of one of these guys, you see almost instantly a huge number of viruses and bacteria. Now bear in mind these viruses, let's see if I can get this actually on the scope here. Each of these viruses is about 10 nanometers wide, each bacteria about 1 micron wide. So in this little field of view you can see the larger size cells there are bacteria, heterotrophic bacteria. The smaller pinpricks of light in the background are virus particles. Now let's see if I can zoom in. You can see the difference there. And so that gives you a little idea as to what the milieu of microorganisms in the ocean looks like.